Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going through job categories overview in SQL Server Agent. There are several categories. When you create SQL Server Agent job, uh, you have an option to basically select a category. And uh, sometimes it's a good idea to select a category because if you are looking uh, for a specific error and you wanted to apply a filter, or you wanted to look, uh, there are se several jobs on SQL Server Agent and you wanted to look a specific job and you can go ahead and filter it via category. So some of the system jobs, when it creates um, on its own, on SQL Server Agent, it puts the right category. But um, if you are creating a SQL Server Agent job, it is sometimes a good idea to uh, go through the categories and find a right category. Uh, when you create log shipping, log shipping creates the jobs on SQL Server Agent, and that is system generated jobs on SQL Server Agent, and that would be put in a log shipping category. So these are uh, some big categories. There are other categories as well. So if you don't define any categories, this is by default uncategorized uh, um, uh, category in SQL Server Agent. So if you don't define it, it is going to put in this category, which is uncategorized job. So uh, the second is Database Engine Tuning Advisor. If you have run uh, Database Engine Tuning Advisor and it creates a job, um, then it's going to be the category database, database Engine Tuning Advisor. And other is maintenance. If you create maintenance plans such as, uh, uh, you know, backing up the database, backing up log, uh, uh, transactional log, and uh, create maintenance plans on um, DBCC uh, checks, then it's going to be the maintenance um, by default. But uh, if you create on your own, so, and, and it is um, uh, all about the main, uh, maintenance of the databases in SQL Server Agent, please select maintenance in your category. And I'll show you in a second that where you select that. Log shipping, again, when you create log shipping, it's, the, it's system generated. And if you create on your own a log shipping job, make sure that you select log shipping. Replication creates right amount of jobs and um, all those jobs, uh, right, replication has different categories underneath the replication uh, category. So there are subcategories in there that you need to select whether it's a uh, pull uh, re replication, push replication and other categories. I'll show you in a second. Full text, if you have a full text enable, it's going to be, uh, the job is going to be created on SQL Server Agent and the category is going to be full text. And data collector, if you have a data collector enabled on SQL Server Agent, then it's going to be data collector. So let's go ahead and take a look on SQL Server Agent where the categories are. So let's say that I already have a job and I'm going to find that what category this job belongs to. I'm going to go ahead and right click on the uh, job and properties. And first thing you will see is job name and owner and next up here is category. Right now it's uncategorized because we did not define, uh, when I created this job, I did not define uh, whether you know it's the right category. Up here, um, if you click on this drop down menu, you will get all the categories that I showed you in the beginning. Data collector, jobs, database engine tuning advisor, database full text, jobs from MX, MSX, and log shipping and these are the replication jobs I was talking about alert response checkup distribution distribution cleanup history these are some of the these jobs gets created when you set up your replication on a particular SQL Server instance so it is important for the filtering purposes uh, when you wanted to look at the uh, if, if you have SQL Server agent running a lot of jobs then sometimes it's much easier to uh, uh, go through just a uh, filter through the category and get all the uh, maintenance related let's say jobs and it makes it much easier so uh, this is one way to look at the job categories and uh, the other way is when you create a job right click new job and right here you can define the category of the job when you're creating the job so this is how you go through the categories and we went through the little bit about uh, uh, you know each um, of these categories Again, if you don't define any category by default, this will be uncategorized. Uh, so um, it's a good idea to put a category up there. Later on, it'll be very helpful for you. I hope this helps.